Hi guys, welcome to your next episode of Marvellous Maths. Today we're going to be doing some more subtraction, building on what we learnt last time about column subtraction. And I'm going to try my hardest to catch you out today, so let's make sure our brains are switched on, ready for some learning. Let's warm up our brains now. So, just like last time, to warm up our brains today, you need to find the missing numbers to the four number sequences on the screen. Pause the video while you have a go at filling in the gaps. How did you get on guys? Let's have a look at the answers. I've popped them in black on the screen. So the first one we were counting in fives. Count with me. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So our two missing numbers were 30 and 40. On to the purple one, we were counting in twos. Count with me, ready? Six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. And our two missing numbers in that number sequence were 12 and 14. That one was tricky because both the missing numbers came next to each other. Moving on to the green one then. Now this one goes backwards, so we had to count backwards. Well done if you spotted that we were counting backwards in 10. So count with me, ready? 110, 100, 90, 80, 70, 60. So our missing numbers in that number sequence were 90 and 60. And then finally, our bottom one, the blue one, we were counting backwards in twos. 54, 52, 50, 48, 46, 44, 42. So our two missing numbers in the blue number sequence were 52 and 44. Well done if you got all of those missing numbers. Right then, let's have a look at that bonus question that I left you to work on at the end of last lesson. On the screen, I've showed you the number sentences for each column. My red number sentence is my ones column. My blue number sentence is my tens column. And my green number sentence is my hundreds column. So let's work together to solve the problem. We start with our ones column. Nine take away eight equals. Now the number we're looking for in this number sentence is our target number. So we've, I've written out the number sentence for us in red and I've labelled it succotor, succotor, starting, counting and target. So my starting number, nine, goes in my head, my counting number, eight, goes on my fingers and because I'm taking away, I'm going to count backwards. So are we ready? Let's count backwards from nine together. Stop, stop, go. Eight, seven, six, five, four three, two, one. So my missing target number is one. So now we can move on to our tens column. I've written it out as the number sentence for us. And this number sentence is a missing number subtraction problem. And because our missing number is in the starting number position, we know that we have to use the inverse operation. Can you remember what inverse operation means? Inverse operation means the opposite, and the opposite of take away is add. So if something take away six equals three, then three add six equals that something. Now that's a number sentence we can do. Our starting number is three and our counting number is six. So we put three in our head, six on our fingers and count on. Ready? Stop, stop, go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So our missing number in our tens column is nine. Well done if you managed to get that one. Okay, so now we can move on to our hundreds column. Now our hundreds column is also a missing number subtraction problem, but because the missing number is in the counting number position, we don't need to use the inverse operation because we can count backwards from nine on our fingers until we reach our target number of seven. So here we go, nine goes in my head and I'm going to count backwards and remember to stop at seven. Ready? Eight, seven, stop! I've got two fingers up. 
So my missing counting number is two. So my subtraction problem should have read 999 take away 268 equals 731. Fantastic job guys if you manage to get all three of those missing numbers in that column subtraction problem. Right then, so before we move on to learning anything new today, I want to see what you can remember from last time. Now on the screen there are three sets of subtraction problems and they're coloured red, orange and green. Now I'd like everybody to have a go at two sets of these questions. So if you're not too confident just yet with subtraction, I'd like you to start with the red and then move on to the orange. If you think you've got it and you're confident with everything I did with you last time, I'd like you to start with the orange to warm up your brains and then move on to the greens to see if I can catch you out. So pause the video while you have a go at either the red and orange or the orange and the green. Right then, I hope you've managed to answer all of those questions. Let's have a look at some of the answers. So on the screen, I've put up the red and the orange answers for you. So you can pause the video quickly while you check your answers. And if you've made any mistakes, you can have another go and see where you went wrong. So let's go through the green questions together. So we'll start with the top one. We've got a missing number sub subtraction problem where the starting number is the number we're looking to find. So we know that we have to use the inverse operation, the opposite operation to answer that. So I have to do 97 add 8 to find my missing number. So 97 goes in my head, 8 goes on my fingers. See if you can count on with me from 97. Ready? Stop, stop. Go, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105. Well done if you managed to get 105 for that one. That one wasn't easy. Let's move on to the next one. Now this one is going to cause us a little bit of a problem because we don't have 12 fingers. So we're going to have to use our best using our method and try and count on beyond the 10 fingers that we've got. So it's an inverse operation question again, using the opposite operation. So we're going to have to add. So 56 goes in my head and I'm going to count on 10 first and then another two so that I've counted on 12. So 56 in my head, put 10 on my fingers first and count on. Ready? Stop, stop, go. 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, and two more, 67, 68. So 68 was our missing number in that subtraction problem. Excellent effort if you managed to overcome the issue of not having 12 fingers to find that one. So now we can move on to our first column subtraction. So we're going to do this one, 157 take away 24. We always start with the ones column. So the first thing we need to do is seven take away four. So seven goes in my head, four on my fingers, and I count backwards because I'm taking away. Ready? Six, five, four, three. So the missing number in my ones column is three. So then I move on to the tens column. Five in my head, two on my fingers and count back. Five, four, three. So the missing number in my tens column is also three. Now in my hundreds column, I have 100 take away nothing. So one take away zero equals one. 133 was my answer for that question. Well done if you got that. So now we move on to this subtraction here. So we start with our ones column, three in my head and three on my fingers and count back. Ready? Two, one, zero. So my missing number in my ones column is zero, but I must remember to put that zero in there as a placeholder. Otherwise my place value of my answer will be incorrect. So I move on to my tens column, seven in my head, six on my fingers and count back. Ready? Six, five, 
four, three, two, one. So the missing number in my tens column is one. Okay, finally onto the hundreds column, three in my head, two on my fingers and count back, two, one. Three take away two is one. So the missing, so the answer to 373 take away 263 is 110. Okay, let's whiz through these last two before we move on to learning something new. So we'll move on to 649 take away 637. So we always start with what column? The ones column, well done. So our ones column is nine take away seven. So nine in my head, seven on my fingers and count back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. So two goes in my ones column. Then I move on to my tens column. Four in my head, three on my fingers and count back. Three, two, one. So I have one. Now I move on to my hundreds column, but I've got six, take away six. And if I put six in my head and six on my fingers and count back, I'm left with zero. So I don't have anything in there. So my answer is 12. Okay, so on to the final one then, starting with my ones column, eight, take away three. So eight in my head, three on my fingers and count back. Seven, six, five. On to my tens column, two take away one. We know that one less than two is one. So now we've got zero take away nothing. Well, nothing less than zero is zero. Now, the difference between this question and this question is that when I did six take away six and got zero, I didn't write it in because I have no hundreds, but I also have nothing greater than that. I have no thousands. But on this question, because I have something in my thousands column, I have to put that zero in the hundreds column as a placeholder. Otherwise, I haven't fully answered the question and my place value will be incorrect. So now that I've got my placeholder in my hundreds column, I can move on to my thousands column. And in my thousands column, I've got one, take away nothing. So nothing less than one is one. That one was really tricky, so well done if you managed to get that one right. And if you got all of the other green questions right as well, fantastic effort. So we're going to do some more column subtraction today, but these ones are a little bit trickier and you'll find out why in a moment. So here's my column subtraction. I've written out on the screen each individual column has its own number sentence. I've got my red ones column and I've got my blue tens column. So we always start with our ones column. So in my ones column, I've got four take away nine. So I've labeled it succata, starting counting target. I put my starting number in my head, my counting number on my fingers and I count back. Ready? Stop, stop, go. Three, two, one, zip. Oh, hang on. I've got too many fingers to count back. And this is where we have a problem. I'll tell you what we have to do. When this happens, we have to take a 10 from next door. Let me show you how we write that on our column subtraction. So we go to our tens column and we cross out the number in our tens column. Now we're going to take just one 10 from that column. So what's one less than four? It's three. So our number in our tens column here becomes three. So I write that right next door so it still is in my tens column. And that 10 that I've just taken from my tens column goes into my ones column, just here in front of my four. And that number becomes 14. So let's have a look at that over here in our number sentence then. I've taken this 10 and it's become three. And I've added the 10 onto this number sentence here. So now we can manage this. My starting number's 14 and my counting number's nine. 14 in my head, nine on my fingers. Can you count back with me? Stop, stop, go. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. So my missing number in my ones column is 
five. So now I can move on to my tens column. Now I have to make sure that I remember where I crossed out this number here and changed it to one less than that from where I took the 10 into the ones column, making it 14. So I've now got three, take away three, and that's in my number sentence here. Three in my head, three on my fingers, and count back, two, one, zero. So I've got zero in my tens column. Now, normally we wouldn't have to write that zero because I have no hundreds or thousands or anything larger in this problem. But I've written it in there as a placeholder for you today to show you how this works. Shall we have a go at another one together? Here we go. So, we've got 209 take away 68. And I always start with which column? my ones column. So we're looking at the red number sentence on the side. So I have nine take away eight. I label it succata, succata. Nine goes in my head, eight on my fingers, and we count back. Ready? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Perfect, that one works well. We've got one in our ones column. So now we can move on to our tens column, the blue number sentence. And I can already see that we're going to have a problem because I can't take away six from nothing. There's nothing smaller than six. So what am I going, ha going to have to do? Can you remember what I did last time? I'm going to have to take one from next door, but this time I'm not taking from my tens column, I'm taking it from my hundreds column into my tens column, okay? So you always go to the column above, the bigger column. So I'm going to my hundreds column, I'm going to cross out my 200, and that's going to become 100. And the 100 that I just took from my hundreds column, I'm going to add to my tens column. So that means I've now got 10 take away six. So we can do that, can't we? Ready, 10 in my head, six on my fingers, and count back, stop, stop, go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. So four is the missing number in my tens column. Okay, so now I move on to my hundreds column, but I need to remember to change my number sentence over here because I stole this hundred from this column and so I've only got one hundred there. So I've got one take away nothing. One take away zero is of course one. So my answer is 141. So remember, if ever my counting number is greater than my starting number in a subtraction problem, I must always knock next door in the column to the left and steal one to make my number bigger. So now it's your turn to have a go. On the screen there are 10 column subtraction questions and on all of them you're going to need to knock next door and take a 10 into your ones column. So take your time and pause the screen while you have a go at answering each of these questions. How did you find them guys? Did you remember to knock next door into the tens column? Let's have a look at the answers. Now I've written on each of the problems where you would need to knock next door and take a 10 from your tens column. So that should help you if you've made any mistakes with where you need to correct your working out. Pause the screen while you check your answers. So I thought I'd be like Mr Gosling today and magpie his best in the business bonus questions for the end of our maths lesson. And this one is a real bonus question. I'd like you to see if you can have a go at labelling each column with its place value and then solving this column subtraction problem. And then we'll have a look at the answers at the beginning of our next lesson. So pause the video while you have a go and then keep your answers nice and safe, ready for next time. Awesome effort today, guys. There were some really tricky questions there and it's not easy understanding these tricky concepts when we're learning through a video the way we are at the moment. So I'm really, really pleased with all of your hard work at home at the moment. Keep it up, guys. 
Don't forget to have a go at that bonus question and keep the answers nice and safe, ready for next time. You're working so hard, guys, and Miss Weatherill and I are both so proud of you. Keep it up and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys.